Hello there and welcome back to another episode of the Sunderland FIFA 22 career mode. We've played a couple of games off camera, only the two. We feel a little bit more comfortable, so hopefully we can get a few wins in this one. But let's run the intro and then let's look at what we've done. So two games played off camera, a 3-2 home win against Accrington Stanley. And then we came back from 2-0 down at Fleetwood to get a point out of that at 2-2. We've got two games coming up today, Bolton and Cheltenham Town. So then Sunderland are home against Bolton. Only one change for us today, Will Grigg will get the start alongside their child. No place for Longman in today's team due to fitness. Other than that, it's the team we expect to play. Sunderland against Bolton. Here we go. Here we go then. Will Grigg gets his start. Can he make a big difference for us today? Good defending there. McLaughlin. Loses out though. Chance for Bolton. And it's a good save from Jonas Hoffman. That's Sal again. Over to Grigg. Holds the ball up well for Dirchap. And 0-9. Runs behind. Big chance for 09. Oh, no, no, no. Luke 09. Gunnarsson. Poor ball away, and it comes straight back at Sunderland. Right wins it back. And here's a big chance. <sighs> Here we go again. Poor play from 09, who has been absolutely horrendous for us. 09. Second. Second's cross. Dechal wins it. But it's headed wide. And there's the whistle. Sunderland haven't had a shot, really. Assault. And Dechal breaks through. Dechal, big chance to score here. And he levels it up for Sunderland. Big moment for the lad. Fast left there, chat. Sunderland won. Bolton won. Good running from him. And a lovely finish as well. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got a question. So, because you're playing in League One, EA Sports make it absolutely impossible to pass a two-yard ball. But everyone you're playing against is playing like Barcelona. Surely everybody has the same issue. That's out inside to Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson does really well. And he fires it through to Will Grigg. Will Grigg, big chance to score, maybe. That's well defended. Winchester's cross doesn't beat the first mark. Oh, good header from Will Grigg. Great save by the keeper. Oh, lovely play. Big chance. Big save, keeper. It was Cordy Evans with the effort. Here's Bakioko. Break away for Bolton. Ianov into the box. Can he pull it across? He can. And Bolton get a third at the Stadium of Light. How easy is it to get sacked on FIFA? This game. Good header, Greg. Good ball back. Here's a sal. Can he score? No, of course he can't. Why would he? And there's the whistle. Not much to say. If you can't get the ball back, what are you supposed to do? Next one then is Cheltenham Town at home. A second home game, and this time it's under the lights. Midweek should be a good one. We've had to make a couple of changes. Huggins has come in at right back. 09 drops to defensive midfield. Winchester 
will be in central mid. Diaku has come in in attacker midfield and Stewart will be up front with Longman. We got embarrassed in the last one. Let's see if we can do any better. I've changed the tactics for the, you know, every single game I changed the tactics. I've changed them again. Hopefully it'll make the game feel a little bit better. I don't know. Here we go then. Sunderland up against Cheltenham Town. Diaku finds Longman. Longman finds Stewart. Longman again. And he beats his man. Oh, he drags it wide. He's unhappy. But it's better from Sunderland. Second. Looks for Winchester. Doesn't find him though. But he gets it anyway. Winchester. Good ball across here. Stewart. Takes a touch. Good effort off the bar. Longman in there. Well won back. Diaku. Corey Evans. Oh. Just wide. Good header. Diaku heads it down to Stewart. Longman needs to make a run. He does now. Here's Longman into the box. Chance to hit one and he scores. Ryan Longman. He's got four goals in his last three. Make that five. Well, Stuart wanted to run earlier. He got it in the end. And Longman beats the keeper at the near post. Sunderland one. Cheltenham nil. Out to circuit. Inside to Winchester. Good ball through here. Diaku. Oh, unlucky. Chance here for Cheltenham. Big turn. Good save from Jonas Hoffman. Sunderland holding on to their lead at the minute. Great effort from May. And there's the whistle. Sunderland take a 1-0 lead into the break. Here's May. What could he... Oh, he's gone for it. Good save, Hoffman. I think it might have been going in. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll see it again. I don't know what the keeper does. He just doesn't get interested in it. Come on. We'll play by sure it is. Diaco. Oh, he's unlucky. Winchester. Oh, nine again. And it's sure it's again. And he goes for the effort. Oh. Just wide. On to Serkin. Serkin beats his man. On to Stewart. Out wide to Evans. Oh. Oh. Well, it's going to go down as a goal. What has gone on there? Ryan Longman gets his second of the match. And a bit of good fortune. Let's have another look at it. It's a bad pass. And the keeper palms it right into the feet of Ryan Longman. He tries to control it. And it ends up in the back of the net. Sunderland lead by two goals to one. Great turn there by Wright. And it's well tackled by O'Neill. Who's had a great game here, Stewart. Chance to put in Longman. Ryan Longman beats his man. It's Ryan Longman, and he gets his third. Ryan Longman has a hat-trick for Sunderland. And more importantly, Sunderland have a precious three points here against Cheltenham Town. It's been a better performance. But it's all been down to this man, really. Ryan Longman, three goals today. What's he giving here? This best not be a pen. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a definite penalty, like the way he's took the ball cleanly. <sighs> I've, I'm glad they haven't fixed that. It gives me something to moan about. Chance for Cheltenham to make it 3-2. 
Good save from Hoffman. Justice is done for Sunderland. And there's the whistle. And Sunderland get a big three points. Great performance from Ryan Longman. The man in from Hull City in the summer. And he's made a massive impact in this one. So then, a defeat and a win in today's episode. It's been a tough one. But look at that, Ryan Longman, seven goals scored this season. Is he going to be key? I think so. He's by far our best striker. The other lad, it's just not working, let's be honest. Coming up then, in the next episode, we'll have a three-game special. So we're going to start away at Pompey. I think we'll try and get through them once. So let's start away at Pompey. Let's go away to Gillingham and away against Rotherham United. So three games coming up will be a special. I'm not going to promise when that one's going to be up, but hopefully at some point over the weekend. So once again, then, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please hit the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment as well. If, you, if you're new around here, please subscribe. But in general, I just hope that you're enjoying the content. And as long as you are, that's all that matters. We're getting a little bit better at the game, but we're still struggling a little bit. So let's see how it goes over the next couple of months. Thank you for being here once again. Away the lads. See you next time.